Thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, first of all, I want to remark that uh, I am not from Metro Madrid, I am from the Public Transport Authority in Madrid region. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, my presentation is about uh, the, the Metro network in our, in our region. Uh, because we, we as public transport authority, we are responsible of, of the planning of the, of the metro and also uh, uh, the, the region is responsible for the construction of this uh, important infrastructure. I want to remark uh, first and as a very uh, a short introduction to our region because it's difficult to understand uh, the public transport system of, of, of one region without any kind of idea about the, how is the region. Uh, uh, for, I, I have a first uh, point about this uh, uh, subject. Second is about metro extension plans. Third is about uh, examples of, inter of integration between, between networks because uh, was, uh, we have a so important network as a metro in Madrid uh, as the backbone of the, of, the, of the public transport system. We need to work in the direction to integrate all public transport system with this uh, metro network in, in, the, in the best way. And the, the last point is the, the, the challenges for the future uh, in our region. In relation with the, our region, we, ha we are uh, one of the 17 uh, autonomous regions of Spain. Uh, Madrid region is formed up by 179 municipalities and uh, we have 6.5 million inhabitants in 8,000 square kilometers. Half of the population is located in the city of Madrid. 3.3 million inhabitants, and one special characteristic of our city is a very big city with 600 square kilometers. Only to give you an idea, Paris has 100 square kilometers, or for example, uh, Barcelona also about 100 square kilometers. So this, our, our uh, city is very big. In the map is in, in red, is the, here is, the shape of uh, our uh, city of Madrid. And uh, in, in green you have the metropolitan area and out the green you have the rest of our region. You, you have also here uh, the, in red the, the, the roads, the national roads, in uh, also the orbital roads. We have two and a half orbital roads, so almost three orbital roads in Madrid, very important. And also you have in blue the, uh, the, the roads with, where you, you need to pay to enter the toll roads. So uh, we have a very important road system. And, and this is uh, uh, one of the, our strategies is uh, to use this road system in order to uh, operate uh, the bus lines uh, for the region. As you can see here, we have different municipalities. Evident, the Madrid City is the most important, but we have other municipalities in our region near Madrid City with more than 100,000 inhabitants and also very, very small municipalities in the border near the, in the mountains with less than uh, uh, 100 inhabitants. And as, uh, as with public transport authority, we need to to deal with all these kind of municipalities. We have a, a very complex public transport system. We have public companies, as Metro de Madrid, the most important public company. We have uh, uh, also the urban buses in Madrid, in Madrid uh, City is a municipal company. We have urban buses in other cities in our, of our region because according to the law, all municipalities with more than 50,000 inhabitants need to provide urban buses in the municipality. But uh, we have municipalities also with, lo with uh, less than 50,000 inhabitants also with urban buses uh, network. We have a suburban uh, railway system very, very impressive, no in extension, also in, uh, in integration, as we are going to see. We have also private operators of uh, metropolitan or regional buses connecting the different municipalities in our region, uh, mainly with the city of Madrid. We have also uh, a kind light rail system network of four lines by under three concessions, and also a an specific and special uh, infrastructure uh, in Madrid 
I think, unique also around the world is this kind of big uh, bus interchanges. We have five concessions of uh, construction and operation uh, of these uh, interchanges. We have an integrated system. So. Uh, we, have, we have an integrated system and uh, the model split you can see here in the total region is mainly uh, uh, one-third uh, walking and a very small uh, bike, one-third public transport and one-third of mobility by private cars. So it's some kind of uh, uh, equilibrated uh, model split, but if you, we take only Madrid City the model split of motorized trip in Madrid City is 63% public transport, 37% private cars. So the use of public transport in Madrid City, as you can uh, uh, see, is very important. It's very consolidated in the, in the, in the behavior of, of people of the, of the city and also in the metropolitan area. We have an integrated system based in, in three uh, pillars. One is the, the, um, the, the assistance of the, the Public Transport Authority, the Consorcio Regional de Transportes de Madrid, or CRTM. I am representing this organization. We are the unique Public Transport Authority in the region. All, uh, we, we integrate all the functions of, of, uh, of uh, of public transport, as we are going to see in the next uh, slide. We have a fair integration system, uh, fair integration in, in the way by the, the monthly travel car, uh, but also with temporary tickets uh, uh, is another kind of integration. And we have a modal integration in order that uh, we try to, to have an integrate integration of all, all the networks, the different networks, the complex networks, uh, metro, buses, uh, suburban railroad, uh, public and transport operators. And uh, a very important function of the authorities to try to, to do this integration, the transfer uh, between uh, the different modes the, in the, the seamless way for, uh, uh, in order to, to get the, the, the seamless mo mobility in, in the region. Uh, we have, uh, this is the institutional framework. We are in the middle between the, the, the political levels, the national, the regional, and the local levels, and we have 179 local levels, re uh, municipal levels in our region, and the different operators public and private operators, and the, the suburban railroad is out our umbrella because it depends on directly of the national government, but we have agreement with them in order to, to use our integrated ticket. Also, as we know, all the mobility, we do the, the, the household survey, and we have the, the modelization of the public transport and the private car in our region. Any kind of work in the, in the, for the Ministry of Public Works in connection with the extension of the suburban regul need to, 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 to be in, in contact with us in order to modelize and, and also to work together in this kind of things. But the definition of the supply of this network is defined by the Ministry of Public Works. We are not responsible for the supply of this, uh, of this uh, mode. We are responsible for the supply and the definition of the supply of the, all the other modes. With this short introduction of, about our region, I, I, I want to, to explain you uh, our metro extension plans. We, mm, we were created the Madrid region was created in 83, 30 years ago. Uh, uh, at that moment, the national government transferred the metro company to Madrid municipality and to the region. Uh, in 75% of the shares to the municipality, 25% to the region. Today, for the last year, 100% of the shares of the Madrid metro company uh, belongs to the, to the region. Two years after the creation of the region was created the CRTM, the Public Transport Authority, in, in 1985. And one of the, our first uh, 
uh, goals for the uh, when uh, we were created was to improve metro network. At that time, we were in 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 an economic uh, strong economic crisis in the 80s, so it was impossible to think in the, to extend the network. But we have many work to do in order to improve the quality of the service of the of the metro network. Uh, after some years, the, the economy improved, and uh, we, we, the region, uh, thought to extend the metro network with the first extension plan was only to extend 10 kilometers of metro, uh, 10 kilometers in two lines, one uh, in line number one. In the extension to one of the outskirts of, of Madrid, and the other was very important because was the if to finish one of the today is the circular line number six to finish a circular line because was not completely finished the the works. Where, where 10 kilometers was very difficult at the beginning because we need to create the team in order to do the projects in order to, to, to do all the works that we need to do uh, in the region. Uh, when we arrived to the elections in the 95, we had a plan to extend the metro network 28 kilometers in, in, two, uh, uh, in two terms, political terms, in, in eight years. But the party in the position present in the program to extend the network 28 kilometers in four years. The party in the position want the election in 95, and when they arrive, we think as Tunisian, for us, it's impossible to build 28 kilometers in four years. It's not possible because we don't have uh, projects of many of these extensions. It's not possible. But they, uh, the, 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 the general director of the infrastructure of the region, say we need to build in four years, and we build the 28 kilometers in four years, and more than that, we built. 56 kilometers of metro in four years. So after that, you can imagine that for the politicians was uh, very impressive that four years time is enough time to build uh, metro in a very uh, 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 in a very uh, with very uh, high quality of, of of infrastructure with very high quality of, of stations. And uh, in the next elections, as we were in, in a good economic situation, uh, we have uh, plans for other 44 for 54 kilometers of new metro that we built. And in the plan 2003-2007, uh, 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 not only 55 kilometers of new metro, also 36 kilometers of uh, light rail system, the four lines. After that, uh, the, the, the extension was so big that the, the, f the future plan in the 2007-2011, with the beginning of the economic crisis, was only, as you can see, the extension of 10 kilometers, and also was the idea that to consolidate all so big extensions of the metro before to continue to extend the metro, but also with the problem of the economic crisis. At the same time, you can see that we extend the suburban railroad and also we build interchanges uh, in a very important way. Uh, uh, the reason for this uh, success of, of the Madrid extension we have four kind of political risk, uh, factors. One, political, uh, economic, management, and technical factors. From the point of view of the political uh, factors that uh, have uh, so import, important impact in the success was the total support of the government that is uh, sponsoring the project in all phases. So it's very important. Uh, at that time, was very important at that time that the, the project was integrated, the, the government was, the political government was uh, the leader of the, of, the, of the projects, and we had, the, as Tunisian, the su full support of this politician uh, uh, during these uh, periods of the extension of, of the projects. Um, in, in, we had, in, in one moment, any kind of, of problem, uh, the government took a uh, fast solution in order to, uh, to, to, to give uh, answer to the problem. 
Uh, also, we have uh, economic fat, uh, factors that uh, we have a, a the, the source to, to finance to financial support of the construction were uh, given for the government with any kind of problem, uh, and also uh, the, uh, with with the speed uh, in order and, effici and, and efficiency in order to give uh, to fulfill the, the financial objectives of the of the construction uh, budgets. We have also management factors very important for the success of the of these extensions. Was uh, a, a small team uh, in the in the regional government, a technical small team in the regional in the regional government hand, handles all the projects. Uh, they were they know the, the 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 task. They know the 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 projects, and this team was. Uh, uh, full time dedicated to the project in this was one of the the key uh, uh, important uh, uh, success of, of of to to get uh, this this kind of kilometers in, in in so short time also the simplification of the bureaucratic system to avoid situation that could lead to uh, legal processes so uh, was also uh, very important because we need to build very quickly uh, when you are you have the constraints to to build in four years 50 kilometers you need to avoid any kind of, of legal process or any kind of other kind of, of problems uh, from the technical factors are very important because for for uh, us the safety of the construction for us was our first objective over cost and over time. We have uh, uh, also defined a station in a very simple and functional way. Uh, we have an architect in Metro and also a, a small team, but we don't have any architect, famous architect that uh, designed the stations. We, we, we work at home with uh, our teams in order to uh, uh, to have uh, functional stations with any kind of problems to build them. And also to monitoring the construction of the impasse was some kind of geotechnical uh, uh, follow of all the works with uh, in order to, to see the impacts in the in the in the buildings uh, in order to avoid problems during the construction. Also uh, after this time uh, of construction, we have a very uh, experienced uh, team uh, in metro and also in the regional part responsible for the construction. Uh, with uh, we have uh, the, the 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 call of tenders for consultants uh, and also for the construction. But uh, we operate normally with Spanish companies and, Sp and Spanish constructing companies that uh, they, well, they, they know very well this kind of work. Today we have a metro of 287 kilometers length. Uh, almost all the length is underground, except 20 kilometers built on surface. The rest is built underground by tunnels, uh, the, the majority of them. We have 238 stations, uh, one of them 197 are sample stations, 30 are two uh, stations for two lines, 10 are stations for three lines, and one is a station for four lines. We have 12 plus one lines, uh, because it's uh, not 13, because we have a, a, some kind of shuttle line only with two stations, and we don't call it exactly a line, but in reality it's a line. We can say we have 13 lines. And we have uh, 311 uh, trains at peak hour. Uh, we have the coverage of 79% of, of Madrid city population living in 600 meters of the metro stations. So it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, important coverage. And don't forget that Madrid is a very, very big city. And also, Metro de Madrid is out. The city of Madrid is, is in another 11 cities in the, in the metropolitan area. Uh, with normally with radial lines going out the city as Metro Norte in the north, Metro Este in the east, 
TFM in the southeast, but also we have a circular line in the south, the Metro Sur. Uh, we have in these uh, municipalities different kind of coverage, as you can see here. In relation with the extensions, I want to remark in the first 91, 95, these are two uh, the, the, the works. The, the most important was this, uh, the circular line was a very important to the, today to have a circular line. I always recommend as a planner uh, uh, public transport circular lines. Uh, we know, uh, I don't know why in the, in the public transport planners don't use this kind of lines because in the, in the road planners, uh, circular lines is very normal. All, all cities has orbital roads uh, around the city, but uh, we don't have so, so much circular lines, uh, metro lines, or, or suburban railway lines, or bus lines in, in, the, in the networks around the world. Uh, we have in Europe some good examples, uh, London, uh, uh, Moscow, and, and others, and also in, in, in Seoul or, or in other cities, but it's not so, so normal to have this kind of lines. For us, it was very important because this line is some kind of intermodal line, so it uh, was born intermodal, intermodal with metro, because this line, orbital line, connect metro lines in two stations, uh, all radial lines, connect suburban railways, connect, uh, uh, has interchange with buses, and this is uh, very important uh, for uh, the integration of the public system of the city, as also as in the metropolitan way, because we have uh, in, uh, stations with uh, suburban regal and also with uh, inter, uh, with met, uh, interurban buses. Uh, in the second plan, in the 95-99, I want to remark four objectives of the plan because uh, in the next plan we lost some of the objectives. Uh, in when you have a, a, a metro a metro extension. Uh, uh, it's very important uh, this kind of object is one is to arrive to to the to the outer skills without metro it's clear that politicians they 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 love this kind of of of, of solutions because they are uh, when they go to elections they have new votes voters uh, because they they arrive with the metro to these new neighborhoods but uh, it's not only the main objective when you are planning a metro network in a big city as Madrid. Also, in this, in, in this case, we have also another corridor, a metropolitan corridor without suburban railway, and we extend the metro to this corridor. But also, the other two objectives is very important. The strategic, uh, to, give, to arrive with metro with strategic part of the city, in this, uh, in this extension, we arrive to uh, Barajas Airport, and also to uh, exhibition area the most important exhibition area of Madrid uh, here. But the fourth objective also is very important because uh, we need to, to build network and network, network need to have contacts. We need to have contacts between lines, uh, between lines of metro because people go from one point to other in the city and they need to, to interchange with other metro lines. If you extend the metro to the outer skill only without interchanges, with, uh, only in the city center, people don't like this uh, so much this kind of thing. So this uh, kind of of objective metro uh, uh, to build metro structure uh, with uh, interchanges with all the metro lines is very important. In the two, uh, in the 1999-2003, the most important was this uh, the second circular line of Madrid, the Metro Sur line, and also this line number 10 was very important. And also arriving with the, the airport to the cities, the, to the CBD of the city in, in Nuevos Ministerios. So uh, this is, uh, was a very, very important uh, actions during this uh, extension. And Metro Sur was a, an impressive uh, uh, solution of 40 kilometers of underground line connecting five municipalities out Madrid City. The border of Madrid City is here. And so we are completely out Madrid. And you can see this metro line is very well integrated with suburban railway line arriving to Madrid and also with one metro line as here, the line number 10. In 2003-2007, uh, 
we lost many of the other uh, important goals, and only we extend the metro to the skirts. So we arrived out Madrid uh, city in two areas, in the east, in the west to the north, and the east, sorry. We, we built some uh, light rail lines, the four lines in, during this uh, uh, time, uh, but we don't build any kind of integration of the, network, of the metro of network uh, in the interior of the, of the city. A very important uh, was, uh, for example, these uh, two lines of light rail that you are going to visit uh, the last day if, in, in, the, in, in the outer skiers. It's out Madrid City. This is here in Madrid City, but the rest is out Madrid City. One is radial line and the other is transversal line, arriving to one suburban railway station. So the very, very important uh, solutions. In, in, in the way to, to uh, examples of integration, I want to remark three examples. One is, is this kind of interchanges. Uh, we have um, uh, private buses arriving from the different cities in our region to Madrid City. In, we try to define for each corridor, this, normally these buses arrive by the national roads. This is the national road number one, two, three, four, five, six, and another national road, the 42. So uh, we decide one point where these buses, the, they will finish uh, when they enter to Madrid. And this point normally are over the circular line number six. Here in, in is Avenida America interchange. Here is uh, Plaza Lítica interchange. Or here Principe Pio interchange. Or here Moncloa interchange. The north is out because the, this was uh, the, we need to, tra to, to enter to the city too much, was in the north part. So we, we build this kind of, of, of uh, solutions for the, these suburban or, or interurban buses. And will be this kind of interchange. All are underground. Buses arrive to the level minus one, minus two, and they transfer to the, to the metro with a simple uh, uh, escalator, mechanical escalator, in 10 seconds they pass from the bus to the metro. So the, the, the seamless uh, uh, transfer of these interchanges is, is, is wonderful and I, I recommend you to see if you have time some of them. This is for us the most important in, in, in volume of, of demand is uh, Moncloa interchange and you have here, we have two, two metro lines, 49 interurban buses and we have 16 urban buses in the, of the city of Madrid. Or, for example, Plaza de Castilla interchange with three metro lines, 36 interurban bus lines, 20 urban bus. Or, Principe Pio is the third in, uh, of, the, of, the, the, of the five interchanges. The, the third is uh, this one with three metro lines, other three suburban railway lines, 21 interurban bus lines, and 11 urban bus lines. Another good example of integration uh, with metro is this kind of solution, the bus, uh, the bus HOV lane. HOV in Spanish we say uh, VOAO. VAO, so bus, it's bus HOV, high occupancy vehicle lane, where buses and cars with two or more people can uh, use. This is in one corridor, in corridor number six, a very important corridor with a, a, an, an impressive uh, growth of the corridor in, 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 in population, and you can see here. So we dedicate two lanes for buses and cars. We have two, two sections. Uh, this section is uh, for 12.3 kilometers, it's in the middle of the road. We have two lanes for buses and cars with two or more people. And in the last part, we have a bus way only for buses, not for cars, where the bus arrive directly to the Moncloa interchange. So you can arrive from one city, take the bus in a door, you, you have uh, 10 minutes uh, circulation in the city, you enter to the national road to enter to the bus HOV lane, and you arrive to Moncloa in 15, 20 minutes uh, directly, with, without a stop, because in this bus HOV lane, you don't have stops. So it's a very, very convenient, and you can see here the, the convenience of, of this kind of solution with buses. The bus cover all the territory, 
and arrive here to Moncloa, and the Moncloa, they interchange with the metro. You have two metro lines, very important, the three to the city center, the six, the, the circular line, and also we have many buses in Moncloa. And the third example is the suburban railway. The suburban railway, we have a, 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 one of the conference this morning was about the, 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 the crossing line in the cross link in, in London. Well, we have in Madrid three tunnels crossing completely Madrid from one side to other, where all the suburban railway lines cross Madrid underground, connecting with metro, arriving to Madrid from the south and going, continuing to the north or from the east to the west and so on. So we have three tunnels. This is the one tunnel. We have another tunnel here from Atocha Chamartín and we have a third and second tunnel for Atocha Chamartín with the station of Sol that I recommend you to visit. So in this way, this suburban uh, railway is very well integrated with metro. You have today 22 stations of the suburban railway with connection with metro. So it's a question of time to build all this system in order to give to people living in the metropolitan area of Madrid, in the regional part of our uh, uh, territory, uh, fully accessibility to the city center of Madrid. And finally, we have, as you know very well, a strong, very, very strong economic crisis. It's very, it's very uh, curious because the first years of the crisis, the 2008, we lost uh, passengers. And for that, we continue to lose passengers, except uh, in 2011, because we organized here a, a big event. But uh, as you can see here, we continue to lose uh, passengers. To, we are today, more or less, uh, at the, the same level of demand as more than 20 years, more than 10 years ago. So under this, uh, uh, this framework, this uh, is very difficult to, to, to give ideas about the future, our, what we are going to do in the future. But as a planner, I need to have uh, uh, the, a future. Maybe the future is not in four years, maybe the future is not in 10 years, maybe the future is not in 20 years. But uh, the future for us uh, can be in this way. We have also worked with the Ministry of Public Works with a new uh, suburban railway line, a new transversal line, the, the fourth cross-link line. But also we have two important lines here for metro. We have here the line number 11 here. This line was begin here to build, but they the idea was to have some kind of line in this way. And for us, it's very important because these lines are crossing here with other lines, so people arriving from here, they don't need to, to arrive to the city center if they want to, to come to the, to the south or to the north. So this kind of, to build network, uh, to give uh, options to transfer between networks is very important. Another other important line is the line arriving to the airport that finished here, and we have also plans to extend to the south this line, also connecting with many other metro lines in this part of the city. And also we have extensions to the outer skis. New uh, Madrid uh, has in this area uh, the possibility to develop uh, new uh, residential areas, I think after the, after the economic crisis and also here. But uh, we, we have this radial extension. So we have plans for the future. No political com uh, compromise at all, but we think that maybe 20, 30 years we will have uh, some of them uh, under construction or under operation. Thank you very much for your attention.